How about you, sir? How long you been coming here? Oh, God. 15 years. I'm about her. For so kind, of, kind of like a ritual for you. Uh, a couple of times a week. Once what's what's your favorite item on the menu? Oh, uh, they got a good breakfast. They got a good uh, ham breakfast and what have you. That's, that's about the best thing going up, I think. Sort of like the, what you ate when you were growing up? Uh, sort of like. Sort of like the biscuits, especially. You know, they do real good on all of them. Thanks, sir. Certainly. How about you, sir? How long have you been coming here? Since 84. 84? Mm-hmm. And uh, obviously they're doing something right here. Oh, yeah. Our office is right across the street, so it's just an everyday occurrence to come in here. So you get it for the whole office, or you just get it for you? Just for me. Just for me. <laughs> the only you way. eat it before you get to the office? <laughs> no. I, generally, I, after I get to the office, I run over here and pick it up. Yeah. And your favorite item? Sausage and biscuit. Sausage and biscuit. Every day. Thank you, sir. Well, you know, you're the first lady we've come up, and, and so uh, a lot of guys like this. Do you, how long have you been coming here? Over 25 years. Really? Since you were a little girl. <laughs> no, not quite, but <laughs> it's the best place to get ham and biscuits. How often do you come here? Well, now I live in Mississippi, so not as often. As often as I can, though, when I'm in this area. So you say, hey, we're in Memphis, let's go to Bryant. That's right. What, have- do you, what do you get? Ham and biscuits. That's what I get. Is this your daughter? This is my daughter. What do you like here? Ham and biscuit. Is it your favorite place to go? Yes. So you pass by a lot of fast food places to get to this. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank y'all very much. I see a lot of people that do move away, but then they'll be going downtown or something, or, you know, have something, and they'll come in here and eat. And we haven't seen them in a long time. We find out they moved. They moved out east. But they come back. Uh-huh. Yeah. And your favorite part of the job? And the customers, the customers, and uh, talking to them, knowing people. I can go out places and I'll see somebody I know, my daughter, go, I know, you know, I'm from the restaurant. (laughs) Well, everywhere you go, you see somebody you know. I do. Mm Mm-hmm. I've seen it. It's really kind of a a stable area, in my opinion. You'll see uh, the High Point Terrace area. Uh, It's just a wonderful neighborhood of folks, you know, real committed neighbors that work in the neighborhood. Uh, We have Greenwood Elementary School directly across the street. It's a terrific optional school that's provided, I think, a good uh, nucleus to the neighborhood. we really have seen just customers that have stayed in this neighborhood, and we, we, they've been our customer for 30 years. They're children, and we see grandchildren now that are customers. Now, of course, as Memphis has spread out, we got uh, back in, when my dad started, there wasn't a Cordova, and there wasn't everybody living in Collierville. And so that's definitely affected, I think, uh, families moving in and moving out. There's not these big houses in High Point for people to live in families. But what I think has benefited us is our location. We're right off Sam Cooper and Graham. People are heading downtown. You know, and they'll stop on the way from work, uh, on, on the way to work. And, and I think one more thing is we've been here so long, you know, that it, at some points, like on a weekend, we're almost becoming a, it's a destination. Like, let's go to Bryant's and eat breakfast, and it's okay to drive 10 or 15 miles. And they'll come just to eat. So they spend the day shopping or something, they'll come here, have breakfast, and then go run their errands, do they'll the Run their errands, you know. There's a lot of stuff in East Memphis. There's a lot of uh, antique shops up and down Summer Avenue that people will go to. We're real excited about a Lowe's coming in down the street. This, I think it's going to provide a new boost to the neighborhood. Uh, so all in all, I've been satisfied with the neighborhood. It's been a real, real great number of folks. How important is it to a neighborhood to have a neighborhood place like that that's been here for 30 years? I think it's really important. I think it's a real neat concept when you think about it. You have that sense of community. We have a table that's been featured in numerous newspaper articles about uh, the number of folks that sit there. They'll come in around 8 and they'll stay, you know, five, six hours until we close. And over the years, the table, the numbers kind of dwindled down because people have passed on. But it, it's been just a, a great area where people can come in, have a sense of community. And aside from those folks, I think a lot of the people who just come in on a daily basis who are going to work appreciate the fact that someone knows their name and uh, knows their order. And uh, they're not just, you know, working with a, a franchise or a, a national chain. They're, they're working with a family. It, it, if the doors are open, Kerry, w- one of us is up here. So they know some, an owner's up here who's looking after the business and really cares about them and wants to make it right. And we got Diane, Joy, Sandra, folks that have worked up here for a number of years, and they care as much or more as we do. And that's been a real key to the success. How about you, sir? How long have you been coming here? Oh, uh, about five years. What do you like? Bacon and biscuits. Bacon and biscuits. How about you? Oh, this is my first time. I'm he with told you to come? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. You, sir? First time. You're your first time or two. 
What do you think so far? Does it smell good? Yeah, it smells good. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, well, Joe, what do you think you're going to get? Uh, I guess ham and biscuit. Ham and biscuit? Bacon. Bacon and biscuit. Bacon and biscuit. How about you, man? How long have you been coming here? One day. This is your first time? Yes. What brought you in? Um, we're having a little school meeting. Oh, so you saw the place and said, let's go try it. Well, good luck. I think you'll like it. Everybody says it's pretty it good. good. It smells, it smells good. smells good. How about you, sir? 22 years. Really? So you've been coming here a long time. Uh, what do you get when you come? Uh, I used to get regular ham, egg, and cheese. Now it's tenderloin, egg, and cheese. But is, is there any other place in town like this? Well, no. I'll tell you that right now firsthand, no. Any place you've ever been like this? Mm, no. Not really. And it doesn't bother you? you got to kind of wait in line sometimes? Uh, no. Worth the wait? Oh, yes. Yeah, very much worth the wait. All right. Great. Thank you, sir. I'm going to let my plate do the talking. There's not much left there. There's not much left, and it would be all the way gone if I still had room in my belly, but I'm full. <laughs> and you look like you polished yours off as well. Well, I ate mine, and then I ate a bunch of hers, so... So the guy that recommended this uh, was not alive. I'd say do a good job. Good job. We'll be here. It's our new spot. New spot from now on. These young people out of here said the reason they came here today is because you told them to come here. That's exactly right. It's, uh, You've got to get him to tell you how he describes this place because it, that's what made us want to come here. Good country cooking, best breakfast in town. Great price. Now you said something about the gravy. You could literally drink it out of the cup. <laughs> <laughs> and that's usually what I do. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Uh, how long have you been coming here? I've been coming here about three years. What do you like here? I like the biscuits. Love the bread. Mm-hmm. You got a lady back in the back named Joyce who does all the biscuits. I think she's pretty good at it. Yes, yeah, she is. Uh -huh. Yeah, we love it. Mm -hmm. what, do think, what do you get besides the, the biscuits? Uh, the country ham breakfast. Mm -hmm. How about you, ma'am? Hello. Oh, ten years. About ten years. What do you like? I love the biscuits and the syrup. Yes. Do you usually get it to go? No, we like to sit down and eat. Well, it's an interesting place to sit and watch people, too. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. A good mixture. Yes, and the food is very tasty, the service is excellent, and the price is right. <laughs> Get a lot for your money. Yes. And it's good. Yes, it is very good. I like the bacon and egg biscuit. How often do you think you come here? Um, at least four times a week, work week. Uh, you can't explain it sometimes. It's the people, the customers, the food, the location. It's all fit together. and. I don't think my dad even dreamed of 30 years ago that it would have still be going on so strong and that uh, what he's left behind has been so successful. And uh, I think when other people look at it, they, they want to say, well, I can copy that. And uh, it's, there's, not no, there's not a recipe for that. We don't even have a recipe for the biscuits. So. <laughs> Just count our blessings that we're fortunate to have it. Uh, that's what I do, and that's what we should do. That's our show for this week. Thanks to Phil, Carrie, their mom, Jane, and the whole crew at Bryant's Breakfast for having us in. On a sad note, one of the restaurants we've featured a couple of times on My Favorite Restaurant burned to the ground recently. The Blue Monkey downtown caught fire in the early morning of Sunday, September 18th. No one was injured in the fire, and the cause is still under investigation. The owners of the Blue Monkey downtown spent two years building the restaurant, which was filled with extremely detailed wood and cork designs. They are determined to rebuild and say hopefully it won't take two years. In the meantime, the original Blue Monkey at Midtown is still rocking. As for the owners, it's time to roll up their sleeves and start the hard process of rebuilding the Blue Monkey downtown. Good luck, guys. We'll be there for the reopening. I'm Earl Farrell. We'll see you next time on My Favorite Restaurant.